were you were you how were you venerating to to your ancestors and making time and space for them you can't come into heaven you gotta come and give them something so, said that. even <laughs> even if it's not even if it's not just a gift you still need to bring something for them to be attracted to to come so they know that you are in tune with their energy like i charged these up bro did I give you a piece of Shanghai? No. I didn't give you a piece of Shanghai. So this is your Shanghai. This is a song by Free Soul and um, Lava uh -huh. on their Source Gold album. What is it called? Stardust. Uh -huh. And one lyric is, um, I think it's, it's like it's one of the hooks. And Lava says, um, Elevate my vibe now. Basically, it says Shungite protects us, love from the Most High. So ever since that, ever since I heard that, you know, I've known about Shungite, it it drew me closer to Shungite. Oh yeah. Because I already deal with the the very black melanated crystals, which is the black onyx, the black tourmaline, yep. and of course the the Shungite, and then. I need to get more sin. The last, the only sin I ever bought for myself, I gave it to my father. Hey, I mean, we need to get another one. So, I'm from Lumeria. My ancestors go way back. Lumerian is an ancient feminine frequency that we use. Mm -hmm. um, so, this is a Lumerian quartz. Okay. They're very high vibrating uh, antennas. So, the Shungite protects against EMF frequencies. Mm -hmm. You could use it to start a fire. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like a flint. Mm -hmm. mm. And you see, if you look at the silver, it's magnetic. So it can attract and repel. Uh, it can attract and repel very intentionally. I've grabbed a couple of those. I love Shanghai. We got that from Atlanta, Stone Mountain. Mm. Very interesting. I've been to Stone Mountain one time before. Okay. Stone Mountain Village. Mm. So, I appreciate you reminding us in regards to breaking bread. Would you like a piece? Oh, I'm good. Breaking bread Thank you. and gifts. That's what we were just talking about. And touring and setting up and setting up teas and doing sound healing mm. as we go around. Yeah. Whenever we need to generate assets or resources or exchange services mm -hmm. right there's people that look into your eyes hmm? that's why did yeah we pull up and we, we set up we shop no dollars nah nigga we, I got you know corn and you got water <laughs> like bro I need that yeah. I got what you need I need some weed I got what you need here yeah well, when I went to the Bay Area, mm -hmm. that's how I survived, like, yeah. without my investors. Mm -hmm. Like, I had my books. I, I traded uh, four agreements for, like, an ounce of weed. Wow. That's a $25 book. An ounce of weed run, run anywhere from 150 to $250. Wow. But he wanted that book that's because the, it was on Hate Street. That's the, uh, uh, that's the worth of the book. Dollars, I guess you could say. It's right. worth way more than that. Way more. But like they put yeah. the $24 mark on it. Right. So that's why it, 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 we only exchange shit to get what we desire. That's the only reason people exchange shit. That's the only reason why people work. They're right. exchanging their time. Fucking <laughs> Atlanta and like making these tour stops, right? And mm -hmm. having these moments where we're asking questions and breaking shit down and talking about manifestations and transmutation. Like I told you, I'm manifesting the hell out of connecting with the top artists of the conscious community. Mm -hmm. the top artists. Why did I didn't know that? But I sent you my favorite artist. Not nigga, dope. Man, you're Philly, so. And he's dope. Yeah. And I like I said, and shout out to Free Soul and Lava. Free Soul and Lava. Both of them. They really were um, just towers in my my awakening. So how does music play a part in your awakening? That's it. Wow. So 
I'm very in tune with music. Like I remember a lot of songs. People would just say words, and I'd just start singing a song, Shazam. and and they just. I'd be like, what? I'd be like, just the words you're saying, it just, it's like, it's like clicking what song you want to hear. And I'm like, say a word, and I say a word, and I just start singing a lyric, a hook, a anything, you know? I just, it's, it's like, it's, I operate in music. Even though I don't make music, even though I've been told to make music, and I know I want to, it's just that I just operate. It's, it's a vibration. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just so in tune with it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you know I identify with ninjas. Uh, we're talking about music right now. Uh -huh. I like Demon Slayer. Hey. That's what my favorite Hashira is. It's Tengen uh -huh. He's a sound Hashira. Hey. Wow. So what's a Hashira? Hashira is like The top-ranking Demon Slayer. Hey. hey. Yeah, it's not Hashira. So, so my guy... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, shit. Melchizedek, Totes, um, Thoth. Mm -hmm. Those are... He handles the music the creativity okay. the, and he Egyptian that's an Egyptian deity yeah so this shit just poked the fuck out me I'm gonna keep you bro who uh, what was Lucifer's title as an angel what was his job he was the morning star he, yeah. he dealt with the uh, edutainment he made people laugh he's the jester yeah uh, he's this uh, singer the dancer mm. it's similar so like cre people humans created Lucifer because they needed a bad guy yeah. You, in certain religions and dogmas, you need a bad guy. Like even you all demons, you have to have a bad guy. They so you can look good. It has to have the necessary evil. If mm. you're not seeing, yeah, yeah. So that's mastermind shit right there. Mm -hmm. I seen that if you watch the uh, the Incredibles cartoon mm -hmm. superhero movie, like in the second one, the um, the main villain. So basically. The company was hiring the mom to take down this villain, but they created the villain mm -hmm. to make a necessary calls to get the mom to come. Similar to Plandemic. <laughs> That's <laughs> crazy. I'm a, I'm gonna be the mastermind. I'm the actual villain, but I'm a be the hero to the villain I made. Exactly. So I'm exalted. So that's three six nine. That's why I'm the angel of death. Because mm -hmm. after that is rebirth. Like, you could die physically if you low level, mm -hmm. or you could be reborn. We talk about anime. Shaman King. I just finished it. Mm. Fuck. I know it is. It's in my queue. I ain't watched it yet. Fuck. Wait, I'm, uh, I'm, on, my, I'm on my my second time watching it. Okay. Um, but it, it allows us, there's Yo and Ho, How, and they, they're twins. And okay. How comes out to be, he's like, yo, I'm here to be the fucking Shaman King. And I see how humans are, so I'm just going to extort that and manipulate it to my will because my soul old is a bitch. Mm -hmm. I've already been the Shaman King before. And I already know this. Yeah. So he is the necessary evil. Mm -hmm. But he also knows that he could wipe everybody out, so he places uh, opportunities for his brother, who's yo, who's like, I'm just carefree and whatever. Like I just <laughs> want everybody to be cool type shit. Right. So it's just those two characters is the epitome of what spirits and demons are like and it's being able to get to the point where you know you are you are your spirit you're your demon mm -hmm. you I, I i did a track called i love my demons and my angels love my demons and my angels because mm -hmm. if you can love something that is set to harm you it allows you that compassion is the highest form of love it allows you to neutralize it and then mm -hmm. utilize other people demons against them because mm. they stick their demons on you. And once you've made friends with your demons, they can't hurt you. They just let you know they're there. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> I did that. I didn't know what I was doing, but I did that. That's like shadow work. It is. It's high-level yeah. shadow work. Yeah. That's why anything on Earth is shadow. Like anything, like having all of this stuff is shadow. Mm -hmm. Because it's matter. Mm -hmm. I told you humans make the whole concept of Lucifer or demonic experience. The Yoruba, that's the that's Nigerian, African, uh, ancestral. Mm -hmm. Like our lower level deities or Orishas are still fucking divine. Yeah. They're still <laughs> divine. Like a legba. He's like the Lucifer. A legba is the trickster. Mm -hmm. He's like Loki. Uh, okay. he's the yeah. bridge crosser. But in order for Loki to play the tricks on you, he gotta hear you say what tricks can be played on you. Mm. And then he tricks you into doing dope shit for yourself. Yo, that's what I gave the dude today. Like, I fucked that white lady up. 
Officer mm-hmm. Jordan and Officer Havig. And I gave Michaela a dope ass lesson. I, yo, I use my stories, my illusion. They was distracted. I know they paid attention to my feather. Mm-hmm. So being able to tap into deities or demons or angels in your world, in your realm, is everything. That's why your rituals are important. That's why what you're putting into you. Anime is a very important tool. Like when we went to Tennessee, um, the young lady, the daughter, she's, how old is she, seven years old? And she's an anime junkie. Wow. My daughter's an anime junkie. Mm. Anime gives lessons and blessings. Anime is very realistic. Even with all the lights and fashion and smoke and mirrors, it is always a lesson in there. It is always a history lesson in there. They, sometimes they just reflect what happened. Mm-hmm. And we think it's new. Oh, wow, look at this. Attack on Titan. We've had Titans. We've had Giants. Mm-hmm. We think they got it from. Mm-hmm. They're just reflecting what has already happened. This ain't brand new. Mm-hmm. They're just reflecting it through the author's or the writer's perspective. Right. They're used. So, like, music and sound allows me to, like, trip a certain way. I listen to music magic where a, a song may give me a message about some shit that I was just talking about or thinking about. Um, you said you, you sent me one of your favorite artists, right? Mm-hmm. What, who... Who are some of the artists that have influenced you um, over the past three years? Okay. So, of course, Live and Free Soul. Um, <clears throat> it affects me. These people I'm about to name, they affect me like just. I'll say it's all positive because it, it, it made me look inside of myself and what I already knew. And it's like they, they helped me realize that <laughs> what I feel is real and what the lies were mm. because you know oh. we're not we're not taught what is real what is lies. what is lies All we, we're just taught what is supposed to be commonly you know accepted common you know knowledge. common sense common knowledge <laughs> everybody knows this but they don't mean it's right so what I felt was like I didn't want to do this or I don't like going this like don't like going here like it's certain church I've been to like I had a good time certain church I went to like I was uninterested and like I don't, I don't really want to be here but everybody's telling me you should be in church go to your family church do this it's like yeah I, I'll go there but every time I go there it's like it'll just energy drain <laughs> tired why am I tired you know why am I just playing with my cousin and we're not interested because it's not it's not it's not real and in no disrespect to the pastor, but they they weren't taught the real. So all they do is regurgitate. So these music, the music sends me a message. It gives me downloads that I wouldn't hear every day. And plus, they can just mass produce a song they make instead of trying to do seminars and people might not tap in. But they'll tap into a song quickly. That's why. Oh, they got a new fire song. What is it? So yeah. That's why I think the um, I think interesting you brought up the church. Uh, because we're, we're the modern day prophets. We both name, I both birth name is Elijah. Um, you dealt with the music or the audio visual when uh, you was at the church. So. I forget about that. Yeah, yeah so, I did. So, so dealing with the audio visual, like the sound board. Yeah. We, like we put our energy, our soul into the sound mm-hmm. and it was affected. Uh, churches live and die by the music director. Right. That attracts people. Man, it's one of the biggest attractions. Because it's, it's our you, whole industry. Mm-hmm. We got the sound industry. We got the, the sound. What, what do they call it? Uh, ministry. Mm-hmm. Like we got a whole sound ministry. It's the whole ministry of just sound. Because sound is what changes people's minds. What plants like the sound. It, it raises the frequencies of the consciousness, so that mm-hmm. the, the messenger can plant the seeds. Like the sound fertilizes the soil. It mm-hmm. or it gets it moist. Hey, what up, homie? Yeah. <laughs> The sound gets it moist. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why, like, I, I love coming into churches on their praise and worship. Because mm-hmm. I'm treating that shit like it's the club. Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's I mean, it, it, it's all positive. Pop, pop, pop. Yo, it's, I'm always 369. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. I'm always 369 because I know I'm coming to the church to get healed. Right. Like, that's a part of me, even if I'm coming in high spirit. So, like, in that, when I'm doing my 369, I'm, I'm listening to the pastor when they on they fuck shit. So I'm shooting shots. <laughs> so, nah, it's not always positive. But okay. I may give a positive fling in there. Mm-hmm. 
Like I, I went to some churches and they feel my three six nine. Mm. I got approached at the end like, yo, y'all recording? Who? Yo, I'm like, yeah, I need to talk to your pastor because mm. we got to do some business. I'm Elijah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like bro, I'm the, I'm the prophet Elijah. Yeah, like, bro, what's up? What's up? I'm running the verses again. What's up here? Yeah, but even what you're saying, that's why we're giving the music now. That's why we're about to drop a mixtape. That's mm-hmm. why. So even you spitting your knowledge with a beat in the background is still music. Mm. That's how we did it before we got into the industry. It's like your messages has to be heard. Like yeah. I said, we're here. Like we're here to offer people opportunities to work with us, delivering their sounds, delivering I'm a, their messages. I'm gonna make sure I send you intentionally send you all the ones that really. I really bought with. Yeah, absolutely. Free Soul, Donnie Arcade, Lava God, um, um, Aura the Prophet, um, D Rock the Menace, um, what's another one? Uh, <laughs> and they all kind of like make music with each other. So they're all on the same vibe, but they just have a different sound, a different message. So you'll see a lot of them searching through their music featuring each other so um says young <laughs> i really about with uh, he got one track um called tides t-i-i-i-d-e-s it's about, it's about he's referring to the ocean the waters but he tra- he's talking about how the tides change with your emotions with your vibe mm-hmm. just you know maneuvering through all of them and staying true so and free souls on that track so <laughs> ah yeah I'm, I'm gonna definitely send you a lot. I got. I have a couple of playlists where they just. I got certain songs by certain ones. I just. Mm-hmm. I see the playlist too. Yeah, it's, the, yeah. Yo, what you just said, right? So you know that's marketing, right? That's PR and marketing. Mm. Like I just got a meme that was like, "Yo, there's this site that put your songs into playlists. People that make playlists. Playlist makers are DJs. Yeah. Like you are." Disc jockeying your sound that you fuck with. Right. That's why we make so it. So you get on my vibe. Yup. We play. You make a playlist of animes that you watch. You make a playlist of documentaries anime you watch. Music for you, you too. You make, huh? Anime music for you too. Hey, I'm down. You're dope, super dope artist. So even and you're doing this right. So I'm mm-hmm. thinking like like I said. We wanna we wanna invest in NC Stuck, but I wanna invest in you. Like like I said, it's ten thousand dollars to work with me, right? Right. For 99 days we're gonna give you a scholarship for uh, 900 dollars of that right okay. and then we're also gonna invest a thousand dollar loan to you that you have up to six months to pay it back mm-hmm. but by the end of the 99 days you're gonna have stuff to be able to pay it back right does that make sense it makes a lot of sense um they this, do with the, in, the music industry yep and we're gonna do this with like you and your family so like just how you send me the music and this that and the third and the playlist that we're going to be letting the rest of our people that's going through this process. Because like I said, my event, the event that we're doing this week is to get a group of East Coast leaders Mm -hmm. that we all vibing together. We're on the same frequency. Mm -hmm. We're listening to the same music. Mm We're watching the same animes. Mm -hmm. We're going into the same discord. We're Mm -hmm. like, we're, we're sharing knowledge. And if we drop something, our people are supporting us. So this is how we pull. Like I'm, I'm pulling myself away from the 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 metaverses that I'm blocked on, right. and I'm be I'm be strictly in discords and Telegram. Download. We can make our own website. Exactly. Our own social media. Yeah, I mean, there's already several of them there. Mm-hmm. Like um, Billy uh, Carson. Carson has one. Unite the ninety nine. Unite the Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And then um, I had this one dude that like like the the dot cards. Uh, he made uh, their version of that. There, there's a lot of melanated versions that we're creating our own. Even with your idea, like I made an app back in 2016, 2000. Like I had an app developer make it was called a New You, and it had my videos. It had like my daily updates, and that shit was it was ahead of my time. I wasn't <laughs> ready for it. You wasn't ready to invest in that, bro. Mm-hmm. But like now, having our own social medias and Discord is the way to. It's like the middle bridge between you setting up your own mm-hmm. and getting like your communities to actually engage with each other. Mm-hmm. My brother wanted me to look at Discord. This was maybe four or five years ago, and I was like, "Man, fuck that shit." Like, and the reason I said fuck that shit. 
it because I wasn't on board with my brother. He wasn't really on board with me. Mm -hmm. We're just doing shit with each other because we're brothers. Right. And we're happy and we're singing yeah. and color. Oh, Give me a high five. So now I'm I'm really wanting to do things with people that I care about. Mm -hmm. um, I told you we stopped back here. Right after we leave here, we're going we're going to Virginia. Mm -hmm. Having the same time, I'm gonna sit down with my brother, give my other brother my my dope ass fucking uh, uh, vans that I got blessed to me because his vans that he gave me got stolen. Man. But but it's just like it's really that go time to really have like ideas where people can make apps. Like it doesn't have to be something down the road. It can be something that's that's now, but I just want to share with you as we go through this process, like doing what's now for your family is now. Right. Who's identifying your family, even like I told you, creating that community around your grandma mm -hmm. so that if you do need to take her, right? Mm -hmm. Like these you are the, take you can take her. And if you do need to leave her for a little bit, you, she has people, places, and things to fill in your frequencies. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Like, I, yo. So my cousin pulled out after I told him I needed him to fucking help with my grandma. Mm. I'm telling him I need the help. Yeah. And I need the help not on some like random fuck shit. No, I need mm -hmm. real help. So the same thing I'm offering you, like I offer my cousin way more. Mm -hmm. Like he got a whole business at LLC. So we offering him $15,000 worth of money, but he just got to go through the program. Right. <laughs> and he's blocking that shit. Not him, but like our family curse shit. So like I said, man, I come here intentionally to build, but to get rid of fucking curses. That the, the curses that I share are similar curses that you share. Mm -hmm. So when we communicate them shits with an unattachment, and I just give his fuck ass energy to the police fuck ass energy, and I give the love ass energy because I love his art. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting like ease in the car trying to trying to fix the shit that I like. I yo, I told you I fly off the handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like I'm like Dame Dash, like <laughs> like me and Dame cool because we both assholes. I'm like Kanye. Yeah, I'm an asshole. It takes a lot for me not to be an asshole. It's crazy because I had to embrace being an asshole. Cause it's like what the world says an asshole is. I never identified that being an asshole. Yeah, what being real? Being fucking all telling you exactly what the fuck you doing wrong. Yes, it's ass. You you didn't have tech. because, because you I didn't yeah. Tech when you do it. Now, my, mom tech, say, my mom say all the time, you don't got no tech. Yeah, I do. I I it's in my brain. As soon as some <laughs> some shit happen that I don't like, it's in my brain how to do it nicely. But why why am I trying to be nice? I'm not gonna be mean. Yo, I'm gonna. I'm be just saying, yo, you fucking that shit up. Like you need to like redo what you're doing. Yo, and, why and, you why are you talking? I, I'm not talking to you like anything. I'm just telling you exactly. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Why do I need to make you feel good about being wrong? I'm going to let you know that you're in the path of destruction right now. So. You're in the path of destruction. <laughs> so I'm not going to say and be like, hey, it's okay to do that. Just next time, no. Stop it now. Right now. Like, you don't like the, like, that's the thing. So Test they demons. I, I, that's <laughs> where, like, I, I told my cousin, I was like, bro, I'm not here to, like, he, he sent me a message, say, yo, yo. And in that yo-yo, it's mad energy that comes yeah. with it. Like it's he. And that's he, his second yo-yo. <laughs> and I'm like, and, and I you get, hear it. You like, bro. I feel it. Coming. Yeah. I feel it. So I'm like, yo, a quick update. Uh, the event on the 20th, 22nd. So he gives me fear back. Like, mm. uh, I don't think no, I can get into. Bro, all I ask you to do is be you. You should let the females know that you want to bring up there to model your artwork. Like, you ain't got to worry about shit else. Yeah. Like, stop sending your worry to me type shit, bro. Mm. And then I called him, and he's just like, he wanted me to be tactful with him. But I'm like, nah, bro, you you allowing fuck-ass energy to come on our mission. We good on that. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't, like, I didn't call you. I'm, I'm you're a part of, part the, he's a part of the event. And this is where, like I said, these stories, right? Like, I've gotten into, like, one of these with everybody in my family. Yeah. And the reason I'm talking about it, because I love my cousin. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason why I allow E to stop what she's doing to, to do our mission, to do damage control. Because mm -hmm. all a leader is is someone that can put out fires. But when you that's are 369, that's it. <laughs> but when you 369, I can start a fire, and then I can start the fire and put it out. Remember I said, right. like, my cousin need to take what I'm doing seriously. My family need to take, especially when I'm talking, giving them $15,000. Right. It's, it's pennies, but that's energy. a good amount of fucking energy, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So it's just, I told you, mob status. These niggas carry the Morgano name. I don't carry it no more. Mm -hmm. I'm just the head CFO of it. Right. The ones that's like us, y'all benefiting off of it. Y'all, we need to put this shit into a susu. We need to put this shit within our family. So it's just like, like I said, I, he sent me a message and was like, he backing out. And I'm like, I, I'm pissed because it's just a lack of communication. Mm -hmm. But and my piss station turns into um, discernment or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Disappointment. Mm -hmm. And then like, that's how I calibrate it out. And then yeah. like, when we get to build with people, places and things that go through, cause he's a dope ass MC too. Mm -hmm. Like there's five <laughs> elements to starting a nation, bro. Five elements. You need an assistant that believes in your mission, <laughs> that is ride or die. You need research and development that believes in your mission, <laughs> that's ride or die. You need a war hero. You need somebody that's been to war and they survived some shit. Not just physical war, like they survived the hood or some other shit. Like they got culture. You need a fucking general that is like, can be militant enough. You need a, se a sequence to be able to give directions in order. And then you need new recruits for your nation. Mm -hmm. Those five things allow your nation to stay sustainable. Like I said, my you saw me change my one of my shits to Mindset Detox TV Nation. Mm -hmm. Jay-Z got Rock Nation. Mm. New music, group, nation. Yeah. The words matter. Oh yeah, words are spells, you spell words. Dang, you had I say that words. all the time. <laughs> words are spells, you spell words. Words are spells and you spell words. What are some of the words that uh, you've gotten out of your vocabulary? I don't say bye anymore. That's one, like, one mm. of the first big markers of my life change. I don't say bye to people. I say see you later. Hey. I always say see you later. Because there's nothing new under the sun. So energy doesn't... You can't destroy energy. Energy is not destroyed. It just moves from one place to another. So I'm going to see this again. It might not be here. So guess what? I'm gonna see you later. I'm gonna see, see you later. If you pass away, I'm gonna see you later. Because when I transition, is it not you know say that you I'm gonna go see my father in heaven? I'm gonna go see this, I'm gonna see that. Like yeah, when you put a place on it, it might not be actually true, but it's still true to the same. When I transition, I'm gonna be in that realm, and I can see him again. Or I might reincarnate. And then I'm gonna see that energy again. It, like you're gonna, it's nothing new under the sun. You're going to see it again. It's going to happen again. So see you later. I say that to everybody. See you later. Have a good time. I don't, I don't, I don't ever say bye because bye just means forever, and it, you, it's just forever gonna be energy. So it's like yes, that's why I don't say bye. Um, what's another word? Then I started incorporating words. Um, so. People call curse words curse words, but you it's not a curse word because you can curse somebody without the curse word. So, you know, people will like give me an eye or even my family members look at me or even the mother of my child, she she look at me like, you ain't can't cuss? I'm like, she's not really cussing, she's just expressing herself. And people don't realize that these certain words help you de-stress faster then not be able to say anything or be or suppressing yourself. Big facts. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, as soon as you say it, you release and you, you feel better and you act better. But if she has to contain herself after she's being in distress and she can't say, I feel like shit or, oh shit, or fuck. Like, if she can't say that, She's suppressing it and knowing that she has a knowledge of the word you, you're not stopping it anyway because what, what is she doing when you're not around saying the shit. she's saying it just off the handle i'd rather her be and hurt herself and do what she does in a safe place than to be in school and saying shit i hurt myself and then now she's getting in trouble for foul language and now she's in detention for you know in school detention or suspension for you know her last two classes like why because she said shit but then you start looking at the dictionary shit is just it's species uh, ass is donkey a bitch is a dog like yep. everybody put these uh you know unmoral or uncivilized meanings on it and y'all made the words up 
Yeah, that, <laughs> that this language, this language is is funny. That's why a lot of comedians they utilize the language. They utilize the f bomb right before they say something um, important, uh, mm. something uh, oh, yeah. with intent. What is that? It's provocative. It gets people going. It gets the people. <laughs> Kanye going. knows. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's like I like understand and understand or fucking overstand. Understand. Standing. Mm. Where are you standing? Are you standing on your square? Are you standing on your diamond? Because, like, if I get an understanding, that means I'm under someone else's standing. Mm. And it's, like, this is similar to, like, to be humble. It's, like, to be less than for people. Yeah, I learned about the humble word. It's about that relationship. So, like, in it... You, you don't want to be humble. Nah, man. <laughs> so, like, in it... You be respectful, but you ain't got to be humble. What we're doing right now, right? We have reverence for each other's frequency. I have reverence for your mission. You have reverence for my mission. You came to visit me. I came to visit you. Mm-hmm. Now we're sitting back and we are like, this is how the ancestors ba- talk business. This is where we broke the bread. This is where we are we created by water. That's mm-hmm. the libations. It's constantly moving. So like, I have an understanding of my world. You have an understanding of your world. Mm-hmm. And we communicate our overstandings. Mm-hmm. And then in the middle somewhere, we get a standing. I can get a I can get an overstanding of your understanding and you can get an overstanding of my understanding. Mm-hmm. It's like that's where it's like I don't have to agree, but I, I reason and I see where you I are. Do that all the time. Yeah, I re I see where you are because like I don't agree with a lot of vibrations. It's like I told you about the situation. Mm-hmm. I was figuring out you was gonna feel my energy, right? Like I I had two negative situations that happened to me this morning. Mm-hmm had a beautiful breakfast that was positive and some beautiful I get to pick and choose what I share, right? Yeah. But I told I tell you all the time I'm three six nine. I'm always gonna be at my now frequency. Mm-hmm. Like I went to the car wash to wash off all the crazy energies mm-hmm. and like I still gotta get it out. It takes a couple days for me to get shit out. Mm-hmm. Especially when I come into new energy. Like I'm always like I just got into this energy last night. So we we shaking shit up. I had negative energy before I got here. We both was experiencing negative energy. Yeah, like hard. So it's it's a and without that negative energy, right? We can't manifest the world we want. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I knew what my intentions was. Mm-hmm. I knew what the last thing we talked about when we went to when we was on the farm, mm-hmm. and that conversation was big. That's why I was like, right. man, I want to be able to come here and I want to be able to engage and let you know how I see uh, us being able to work together, that once we invest in you, you start the program, uh, we start sending people y'all way for for you to mm. lead, yeah. engage with, like I said, we're creating a community. And then from that, from that, we take we separate for a little bit, you about to have this baby in a couple months, uh, y'all have the baby and y'all can just, at the end of that, that'll be 99 days. Mm. It's literally October, November, December, that's three months. Mm. So three months from now, three, six, nine. Yep, yeah. we'll be able to revisit and see where the harvest at. Yeah, we planted the seeds. Yep. Bro, right, like I said, I'm just sharing with you what you are. Right. That's it. Like you. People need that because people know who they are, but they forget who they are. Yep. And when you remind themselves of who they are, then they flourish. That's why when I told those people at the desk, I'm like, yo, I'm a prophet. And I'm a paying prophet. So y'all should have more reverence and respect mm-hmm. for how y'all engage me. Mm-hmm. I felt disrespected. Right. Like, how are y'all gonna make up for that? Because she was uncomfortable. I felt right. disrespected. So it's just like, um, I watch people, it's called white privilege. Mm-hmm. White female privilege is a privilege that goes out. I learned it, I see it with E. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was, I was telling white people that E is a prisoner of war, right? Like mm-hmm. I captured her, mm-hmm. like I'm a pirate. <laughs> like I captured her womb space. You like a pirate too. Uh huh. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Like and E's, E's hey, ancestors are pirates. Mm-hmm. Like she mm-hmm. pulled up on her phone. She got a picture of, a, of one of the top pirates. It's a, a, a Taoist that looked just like her. Wow. So oh, yeah, they were on the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So I, I, we upgraded it to a prisoner of prisms. Mm-hmm. Instead of prisoner of war, like I'm at war, but I'm not at war within my household. Right. So it's because words cast major spells. Mm-hmm. So I just use words until I feel like replacing them with another word that I feel better at. Mm-hmm. A prism is still war. 
Because when you're shooting sounds at people, like you talked about, you like the sounds. Every, that's why people think that we're being distasteful or we're being disrespectful mm -hmm. because our sounds are having an effect on their prisons. Right, their vibrations. Their vibrations is getting fucked up with mm -hmm. our truth, our authenticity, all of mm -hmm. our retardedness, uh, all of last, it. That's my, my first Instagram name, Really Authentic. Really Authentic. Mm -hmm. I love R33. that. R33. 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 With an E tip. Yep. Hey. Just, I just changed it. That's all mm -hmm. I care about, bro. Black I, Soul Kami. It's Black Sun Soul Soul Kami Guy. Yeah. Kami means guy. Mm -hmm. Kami. Kami. So black is. Ah, me. <laughs> yeah. So black is, is the English, and then Soul is the Spanish, and then Kami is the Japanese. I sure. Mm -hmm. I sure. Three. I, I, oh, wow. I'm remembering myself. Uh, years ago, I said, I want my family to all know like the same, like three or four languages. And we can interchange words and speak to each other in front of anybody, and they don't know what you said. Yeah. But they know exactly what I said. Because I, I start off in English, then put in Spanish, mm -hmm. and then put in Japanese, and end with Spanish. And they're like, What you say? You sound like two languages? Or like, I said, like three. <laughs> but it, like but it's, still, uh, it's still a normal sentence. Hey, it's, it's similar to what, what we were talking about KRS1 earlier. Mm -hmm. and uh, Ebonics. This is what we yeah, did with yeah, Ebonics. So we did, yeah. Eminem does it with alliteration. Like he'll break up a word and make it seem like several words, and he'll put that several words in, in a, a, a bar after a bar. Mm -hmm. So when you can do that with languages, I do that with Bina, on Madi Padi Mei Hung. I utilize Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. I utilize a little bit of Cantonese. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll throw it in my freestyles because what it does, it it tricks that part of the brain. Like if it's a feminine word. It talks with the feminine frequencies. All these mm. words and letters have frequencies, and the English language is blocked off. Yeah, that's why people you gotta like sing it or have a reverent tone, a melodic tone, in order for it to get through people's subconscious. Wow, I know it's so fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> that, but that's why I'm about to. That's why I'm about to battle people. Like I'm battling people that say that they're leaders or they see food, but we're doing it in conversation. Mm -hmm. Like that's what that's what me and my cousin, my, me and my cousin, I'm ready to battle them and engage with them because they're utilizing our frequencies very interestingly. Mm -hmm. Everybody that I don't I don't have time. I'm my goal is so that my family and friends stay protected. So I'm not gonna come out guns a blazing with physical guns, mm -hmm. but my Tai Chi guns ain't no joke. They no joke. And like if I add a rock to this, like this Shungai or this fool's gold, mm -hmm. it hidings. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it hidings the frequencies that I do. Same thing when you add a sword mm -hmm. to your. It's an extension. It's, an extension. it's a That's spirit what medium. That's what sequence teaches us: it is uh, weapons are extension of what you already can do. What you already can do. You can buy a gun. They don't know how to function it. It don't matter. You can anybody say, like somebody pick up a sword. They're like, "What's up?" I'm like, "Okay, what's up?" <laughs> like <laughs> he got a sword. Yeah, but does he know how to use it? Uh huh. It. You know, because people think weapons, instruments, metaphysical things, they think all these crystals and things are just just entities by itself, which it is. But once you pick it up, you're connected. You add it to it. So now that you're connected, you and the instrument are one. So now how you use the instrument should be naturally how you use yourself. So if you're doing, okay, let me show you. So... So, hands up. So, say, like, sequence, like, we're doing cover, back, cover, back, right? Say we have a knife. Stab, back, stab. Same thing. Flip it up. <laughs> back. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, other side. Same thing. Cover, stab, stab, back. It's the same thing. Just use your same techniques with the same, the same thing. Yes. So we have That's the wax on wax right, off. So we have open fan chop mm. with a knife, open stab chop. <laughs> <laughs> but in the other hand, <laughs> cut to stab. It's just how you want to use it. What hand you go put it in determines how you're going to use it and what your goal is. Mm. You have this well, I'm gonna say you have the same goal, but how you gonna reach the goal. Mm. So there's multiple avenues to it. Yeah. And it's happening up here before it happens out here. Mm-hmm. Mm. And so, and even to bring it full circle, even with our, our verbal exchange, 
like this was my meeting on the docket then i got another meeting on the docket mm -hmm. like my world is wrapped around meetings I at wanna, the moment yeah it's wrapped and then when i have the baby it's gonna be wrapped around meetings with the baby mm -hmm. like i'm like the west coast is calling for us bro yeah like it's yelling for us <laughs> bro they like yo we can't wait till you get you back. back yeah and i'm like i can't wait to get back but i'm patient yeah um i want to see you start going on tour i don't know if it's this time but i just seen you were traveling i didn't know you were on tour maybe i see you traveling and i used to message you like when you come back to richmond because I wasn't in Richmond no more, but I want to know when you going to get back so I can meet you there. Ah, uh, Shay. Yeah, and then I, you was like, you know, I'm out here now, you know, but I'll be back around, I'll come to North Carolina. I said, okay, all right. So it's just, it's like, <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. So a lot of people feeding off of this energy because you have so much energy. I'm a generator, bro. I generate it, but like I, I get it from all the trees, the keys, the galaxy. Right. Like my honest, gonna be one thousand. My body is tired, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm tired, and I share that with you because I'm, I'm I gotta share it with the people that I'm around. But I stay, I stay on my square. Mm -hmm. I stay like I'm still like this is. I'm tired, but this is like the last leg of the race. Mm -hmm. I'm like on the East Coast, so I'm Can't not. Up, yeah. yeah, my second win. So it's like, I sl this is me slowing down. Mm -hmm. Atlanta was a lot of energy. Mm. Tennessee was all, that was a left hook, but we made three dope ass <laughs> tracks, bro. Dope ass, like the, the guy, what's up, homie? <laughs> Dragonfly Portal, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> choom, choom. But I went down there with a, a, a country western dope ass producer. Mm. He never did a hip hop song. And oh, we knocked know, out a hip hop I song. I know y'all knocked that out. Because they displayed that with uh, Lil Nas X with, uh, what's his name? Billy Ray Cyrus. Bruh. I, they mixed it. They, people didn't even know that was possible. Like, yes, yeah, possible. Bruh, it's so lit. They, yeah. I mean, what we rapped off in, we, Little Child was, that shit was like a house beat. But it's like he put guitars and it was just an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. But just in that, that shit ain't come at a cheap price. Right. That shit came at like, a lot of shit in my world got rumbled for me being there. Mm. Like, I, I know exchange, yeah. Yeah, it's the exchange. Yeah, people, but that's why I told him. I was like, bro, this shit gonna be history. This, yeah, this people like, say sacrifice, but it's just an exchange. That's it. You're just changing this energy for that energy. And that's what you did prior to you coming here, and you do it very well. You, I told you, you were a great space holder. That's mm. why, like I said, even investing, moving the monies around. Like I look, my my cousin, I love him, man. But, like, I only need people on our side right now. Mm -hmm. I have a distinct side. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. spirit. If you fucking with spirit, I fuck with you. That's why but, civil wars are necessary. Mm -hmm. But if you on some old, like, political, not even just political, if you on some non-geopolitical, you don't have a, a area that you're taking care of, mm -hmm. like, you have your family. My cousin has his family. Like I said, this was my way to be able to pour back into the family. Right. But I'm telling the family I desire assistance. And that's even why I'm here, like... I see you as family. Mm -hmm. Frequency is family. Like you brought oh, me yeah. into your family. And since we've been there, we've been moving energies around. Mm -hmm. So like Sude's opened up to our frequency. Uh, e already see her as a sister wife, which is dope. Like building community around our families matter. Right. So mm -hmm. at the end of this, I thank you for your interview, bro. This was a dope ass impromptu interview yeah. for like forty five minutes. <laughs> the black soul, like you, and you, like I, I thought we was gonna get through this without any martial arts. I say, nah, <laughs> martial arts is a part ah, of your world. That's crazy <laughs> that you said that. <laughs> Cause I wasn't thinking that. I wasn't even thinking about doing anything, but but it's a part of your world. Yeah. If you move the energy, it's a dance. Like I want to get into mm -hmm. capoeira. It is a dance. It's a dance. Mm -hmm. So you being able to do that. It conveys the message, and even how it's saying, we got this big ass tree in the background, mm -hmm. and like our hands are right there, and it's just like I'm dancing with my mouth, mm -hmm. like I'm having the communications not just with you, but I'm having communications with e. you. Every time you see me, look at the car, mm -hmm. because my grandmother is pulling my consciousness. <laughs> She's like, "What you doing?" Right. <laughs> but she don't want to come out here and see what we're doing because, mm -hmm. like, she can, but like she. I told you, like, having having your elders is a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And that's why I listened to you when you came by and you sat with us. And I was like, all right, let me see how you handle the energy once we leave. You handle the energy and you're moving. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I do want to give you a disclaimer right. that if you don't like your job now before the 99 days up, you will not be at your job. I know that already. <laughs> I, I, I already knew that. So, uh, the, the um, E's going to send you the information, mm -hmm. and probably within the next seven, within this next seventy-two hours, um, I'll cash up you the, the investment, mm -hmm. the nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars, aka a thousand. And like I said, it's just moving monies around. Like, you give us the ninety-nine dollars whenever you decide to get, send it back. It's on you how you pay off your debt. Right. That's how. Like, that's one of the biggest things. Everything is your choice. Like, I had to let E know, like, yo, bro, it's my choice. I'm not moving your money around. I captured it, and I'm still acting like this is your you money. You're a prisoner. <laughs> yeah, this is my money. It's a per diem war for the mind and our mindset. So, <laughs> so like, I appreciate yeah. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you greatly. This was, you too, bro. Yeah, this was, this was pretty dope. It's, it's always yeah, pretty dope. It is. Hey, like, even, like I said, I, you get to read all of our energy. Like, mm -hmm. I like allowing all of my energies to show. Mm -hmm. Like, I had told E, because E was right around the corner when the, when the cops approached me. I was like, man, where you was? That was some good footage you missed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need that footage. Right. Because people are fearful of that. So they want to follow you or they want to tap into you. And then they're like, hey, what happens when this happens? Hell yeah. Go to this video, yo. Bro, I de-escalate situations all the time. I mm. use their terminology. I took, I, so I let them, I give them a heads up what they're dealing with. Mm. I'm like, I'm a veteran. I got mental health. I'm this. I'm on tour. I'm an influencer. Yeah. So be scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be scared be, that you might fuck your job up. Yo, yeah. you can because you love your job. Right. I could sue the fuck out of you. Mm. Like, bro. That's why I told Lloyd. I told each. I'm in the process of getting a lawyer. She's like, what type of lawyer? I just need a lawyer that handles indigenous shit. Mm. That's it. I just need a lawyer that specializes in indigenous shit. Because mm -hmm. they're going to allow us to win a lot of cases. Right. Which we should already be winning, but, you know. Somebody has to be willing to lay on that sword. I don't mind going to court. I've been in the court system since I was three. Mm. That's how long my dad been locked up. Mm. That was his first time. That was the first time I visited a jail. So I've been in that system. So it's like, I, I told you, I'm their worst nightmare, bro. That's why it's like not about money. It's about, it's not just about money. It's about assets and resources. Like you brought me to this park. This park is lit. This is a hub where when we come to North Carolina and we get our people to meet, this park is gonna be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, I um. I actually wanna meet in another spot next time, but I haven't toured myself yet. Okay. It's the um, Hanging Rock State Park. Okay. It's uh, probably like, a, like an hour and a half from here. See, even with that, yeah. bro, um, so, being able to set up set up gatherings and so shit. So I'm definitely going to tour it before, so I know where to go. But it's, 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 I haven't seen God's Bath, but it's like God's when, I, when I see God's Bath, just a few photos, and I see the state park that we have, um... It, it reminds me of it. Hey. Even though I haven't been there, they need the one. I've I've been to Belle Isle in Richmond. Uh huh. So I understand how that water is and how the you know, this reminds me of it. Even though it has the same setup is you have the trees, you have the bank, you have the water, you have nature, you have uh, you know, man made paths. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna tap into it. I'm I'm finding the perfect spot. There you go. Yeah. I'm down. We can go there. I'm down, bro. You can um, get Airbnb out there. And we yeah. create, like I said, we create like a whole, a whole gathering, an outing. Um, next year, I said I was going to leave the states this year. I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, everything, um, up until October, things are cloudy. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I put a lot of my energy and attention into completing this tour, mm -hmm. making sure I connect with the right family members, right, being the most effective one. Mm -hmm. um, so once I get done with this tour and it looked like we're wrapping up the end of September and we start making our way back like the first week in October uh, once we go through Chicago and then be back in the bay and have our, our footing mm -hmm. probably about the end of October we should have a place at the latest mm -hmm. uh, I'll be able to see the rest of the tour like I'll be able to see everything else falling into play mm -hmm. But like what we did thus far coming back here, we, we pulled a lot of timelines together, bro. Like yeah. my grandma know who you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your family knows who we are. 
And like I said, we just keep the digital connection, bro. Of course. We keep I, I explained how we connected so much to my little girl like a couple months ago. I said, the oldest person I know right now is my grandmother. And that means I'm connected to the oldest person she knows. And the oldest person she knows probably knows a slave. We're not that far away. I keep I, I told I brought down to my little girl how we're not that far away from how it used to be. It hasn't been that long. Mm-hmm. It hasn't been that long at all. They just changed the slavery, bro. Like they still got people in concentration camps mm-hmm. or uh, administrative offices or like it, like we're still slave in mindset. Yeah. So it's like you talking and making that bridge for the children is showing them how to get out of it. Like, that's all we're doing, like, showing them how to really get out of the mental slavery. Because, nah, it hasn't been that long away. That's why, like, mental slavery is their bread and butter. Mm. Because if I got your mind and your soul, then everything else follows. So you can't go nowhere without your heart. Mm. And your soul is where where your heart or your, your spirit resides. So, like, a lot of this soul music, and just to wrap it up with the music, like, we're just in a time now where we gotta balance it, bro. We gotta balance it. If you saw how my conversation was, it was three, six, nine. Mm-hmm. How my tone is, like even when I was beating on the drums, like I was, I'm, I'm beating out my frustration. Mm-hmm. Like, it, like it's just like crunk dancing. Like I got, I got, ba- I got um invited to a battle. Like this dude wants to beat up my energy, mm-hmm. um, in, in Virginia because mm-hmm. of what people are saying about what we're doing. Uh, learning that people going to talk <laughs> positive, negative, and neutral, right. that's a sign that it's all it, it all belongs. Mm-hmm. And I'm grateful for what he's doing for what my family in the letter. I'm grateful. I'm, I'm grateful that you're here to be able to hold space uh, and to be able to process. I'm I'm grateful. Like I could have come back here and I could have went and seen my daughter again, but that shit it hurts right now trying to really spend time with my children and their parents don't know what I'm doing. Right. So, uh, That's how it is with me. My daughter, because my daughter in a couple weeks. So you, we make that time for them and then making that time and when we are with them, we just go in, all in. Mm-hmm. Like, just yeah. all in during well, that time. That's what I did when I got her birthday. Took the care wins and everything. Mm-hmm. It's going to all ride. You know, all of them. All of them. Even though she's scared to death on like two of them, uh-huh. cried her eyes out. She, she she still that's 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 in her that's gonna be in her history book, you know. She's gonna remember that. She's never gonna forget that. Big ups. So, so yeah, gotta gotta put a stamp on this day. You gotta put a stamp, man. Drove out right there, three hours to get in, three hours back, two hours to get Carowinds, two hours to get back to Greensboro, three hours back to South Carolina, three hours back to Greensboro. Yeah. Bro, that's that's the tour. That was a tour, bro. Yeah. It was a it was a tour for your family, and let them know like uh, the the organization you're working with and um, how they can get in touch with you. Cause you're uh, currently working with Seafood. Yeah. So, organization I'm working with is uh, NC Stunts, and you can follow me um, with Black underscore um, Ninja underscore Soul. That's S O L. And the black is B-L-A-Q. Or you can follow my seafood, my friend, my brother, my my sensei, Sequence Herring. And that's uh, Running Fist Ronin. And uh, Ronin, R-O-N-I-N. And uh, you just tap in. We all are constantly, weekly updating what we're doing. So you'll see me do some stunts. You'll see him doing some stunts. Um, I might post him. I might post myself. I might uh, post my set. I'm, going, I'm always going to keep everything relevant it's never just one-sided it's always multi-dimensional so just follow that on instagram and um you can follow me on facebook uh uh eli fit consciousness so all those are going to be shared and interchanged with each other you'll see some of the same content on all the platforms well appreciate yeah. you bro and much blessings on your journey uh I, I look forward to to building and aligning yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, definitely check out for this video. It's, uh, it may go up to my YouTube. I haven't focused the straight video to YouTube in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, we appreciate the content we got a couple weeks ago. And this was awesome, man. Thank you for holding space. Yeah. Brave, safe spaces. And you stay blessed and play with it. I love the honesty. I love the healing. I love the authenticity of it. That's it, man. I, 
You can do the uh, the affirmations of I love myself. I love, I love myself. myself. Okay. I love, I love myself. myself. I trust myself. I trust myself. Trust myself. One more time. Okay. Yes, I trust trust myself. myself. I honor myself. Okay. I honor myself. one is I value myself. Yes, I value myself. Okay. Yes, I value myself. Deep breath in. Yes, I value myself. Last one is I respect myself. Respectfully. Deep breath in. Yes, I respect, respect myself. myself. Sending that energy into your heart space. Deep breath in. Yes, I respect myself. That transmuter, bro. <laughs> Yo, son, the wind stopped. You said the wind the, stopped. The whole affirmation, it was straight air. <laughs> as soon as it stopped. <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs>